Ryan Milgate is a farmer who lives in between Minyip and Donald in Victoria in our broadcast area and he's also a member of the Grains Council for the Victorian Farmers Federation. He's speaking with us today about a proposal to increase truck registration fees by up to 220%. I spoke with Ryan just a short while ago. G'day Ryan, how are you? Oh, I'm good Ricky, yourself? Oh, excellent, thank you. Now you've been put in contact with us by the Farmers Federation because of this announcement, uh, or should I say, I guess a leak out of Ost Roads that there's a, a plan to raise the registration fee, actually hike them quite significantly when it comes to truck. What's going on there? Yeah, so basically Ost Roads are a, um, a research type group and and they've done a lot of research in the heavy vehicle and, and some of the recommendations of a recently released or leaked report have, have suggested basically increasing the registration of uh, pre-2008 heavy vehicles by as much as 220%. Uh, 220%, so doubling it and a bit more. That, that's correct, yeah. So it's, it's around, um, based, uh, some of it's actually based around um, emissions and trying to, trying, to, trying to cut emissions and I think, uh, reading between the lines, it's a you know pre pre uh, Euro four, I believe it is anything pre that, which is um, a fair percentage of what farmers have got on the farm would fall into that category. See, if you're a farmer and you've got a truck that was registered or sorry created before two thousand and eight, uh, you could be facing if this proposal flew, uh, you'd be facing a. a Effectively, a doubling or a tripling potentially of your registration fees. Yeah, that, that's a, that's the potential of uh, some of the discussion out of this report. Yeah, which is not um, not something that we're very we're supportive of at all. Yeah. So the Farmers Federation have popped up and put a press release out about it, saying they're concerned. So clearly, there's sufficient concern at your end that it is something that could get some legs within federal government. Yeah, absolutely. Look, anything. Any 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 recommendation like this, which is going to increase our costs significantly, um, we want to get on the front foot straight away and say, "Hang on a minute, we're not um, we're not supportive of this in any way, shape, or form." Yeah, and you're in Victoria, but um, this is something that this Ostroads thing this would apply to the whole country. Our people in our broadcast area in South Australia, New South Wales, would also be affected by it if it came to fruition. Yeah, that's correct. Ostroads is, a, is an Australia wide. Um, is an Australia-wide group, so this is a recommendation for a national um, increase, that's right. So have since the VFF put the comment out about this, saying it was a terrible idea, in effect, I'm paraphrasing, uh, is, is the, has there been any crab walking away from it, any backwards movement from any voices in government about it? Well, not so much in government, but Austroids themselves, yes, have, um, have uh, well... What they're saying publicly and what their uh, report says are um, two very different things at the moment. So, which is a bit of a uh, well, it's a concern on one hand, but on the other hand, it's quite good because they've realised that um, that raising registrations by that much is not something that is, you know, not good for small business farmers, you know, anyone. And we're talking. Anything over four and a half ton GVM, so we're talking your school buses, your delivery vans, trucks. It's um, pretty wide reaching. Yeah, yeah, so it's not just trucks. There's a whole range of any ve- any heavy vehicle that qualifies could face that massive hike in their registration. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, even um, if you've got an old bus set up as a holiday uh, as a holiday um, sort of cruiser, well, they would fall under that as well if they're registered under heavy vehicle um, registration. Yeah, so does it, it does sound to me like perhaps you've got some boffin who's come up with this idea who might be a, a little bit more gung-ho on the climate front, might have put this in a report and it somehow got out to publication, but maybe someone a bit closer to the political ramifications of such a recommendation has tried to start crab walking away from the idea in Osroads? I believe there's really no um, want from the political side of things for this to happen. Um, Osteroids is obviously an apolitical um, group, mm. and, and they've put these up, but I'm, I'm led to believe that um, no one in politics is uh, interested. But it does highlight the importance of the VFF pointing these things out, and um, farm and freight groups pointing these things out before they get any legs behind closed doors in Canberra or in the parliaments. 
Absolutely. Stuff like this, we've got to jump on straight away. Sing it from the rooftops loud and clear that this is not something that we support in any way, shape or form. It does highlight the importance of having these sort of representative groups like VFF that farmers pay their membership dues to keep vigilant on these things so they're squashed before a thought bubble develops into some sort of legislation. That's right, yeah. That's what we try to do is try and keep on keep on the front foot and just make sure that stuff like this doesn't get any legs at yep. all. Yep, we're speaking to be on the front foot. Hopefully you've hit this one over the boundary and it doesn't go any further. Thanks for speaking with us today, Ryan. No worries, Ricky. Not a problem.